Aquarius the 13th Wolf Ben. You know, today is, today is day 21 of the 31 days of horror. 31 days of horror. 31 movies, 31 days. Seems pretty simple, doesn't it? Yeah, and it is. A lot of us are doing it. The one and only MSJ, Double Shot J, Carly 317, Tony has nine fingers, Retro Horror, Random Horror, Dave Maggot, I am the Ice Lord, and many, many, many others. It's a fun thing to do every year. We watch a movie a day for 31 days. Um, I already said that, but it's it's just kind of fun. It kind of gets you into the whole feeling for October, you know. So when Halloween hits, you can just kick back and watch the most evil, vile stuff out there. <laughs> you know. But today, what's today's movie? Well... Today is the second movie in, uh, in this box set. Yeah, Televised Terror. So we already watched the first one with Dennis Quaid, which was Already Alone in the House. Now we're watching the second one, this one here. Um, Calendar Girl Murders. It stars Sharon Stone, Tom Skerritt, Robert Culp, and Robert Beltran and this came out in 1984 and so the funny thing is is that if you you're like well Robert Beltran I've already talked about him once this month the very first movie I did this year was Night of the Comet he was in that that movie came out in 1984 same time this did so he was doing he was he was doing pretty good in 1984 but here we go the candle uh, calendar candle calendar girl murders Tom Skerritt plays detective Dan Stone who is investigating the murders of basically their their playboy playmates but they're not called that because you know that would be infringing on Hef's lifestyle um, but they're basically the same thing there are these girls that pose for for a magazine called Paradise. Robert Culp is the Hugh Hefner-like character in this movie. I mean, he's got all the girls around, he's living large, he's he's having a good time, you know, he's throwing the parties at his house. Sharon Stone plays, uh, plays a former, you know, what do they call it? They called it, uh, Girl of the Year or Paradise Girl of the Year or something like that. A former, basically, Playmate of the Year type of thing. Who left the lifestyle because she was being stalked by someone. She just kind of got out of it. She she moved on. She got into banking. Well, the, the killer is going around killing people in order of, you know, I, in order of Playmate of the Month. You know, it's like they start with January, then they move on to February, then they move on to March. You know, and Dan Stone, Tom Skerritt, has got to figure out who is doing this. Uh, Robert Beltran plays another cop that is like a partner with uh, with uh, Tom Skerritt. And like I said, Sharon Stone, she plays a former girl, but she she's trying to... She's, she's out of the lifestyle, but she slowly slides back into it. It's kind of a bizarre type of story. Um... Tom Skerritt's character has a wife and a kid, and they seem like the most reasonable people. It It's definitely got that 80s vibe to it. Made for TV all the way. I mean, the only downfall of this movie, and this was a good movie. I really enjoyed watching this. I feel that the tension or the suspense could have just been ramped up just a little bit more. I mean, it was a whodunit, you know. Who's doing this? You know, it's a, it's a scream of the 1980s type of thing. And uh, it's a whodunit, but you're, you're, while well, you're trying to figure out who's doing it, and I had my idea, and, and I was so far off, you know, uh, which, okay. But uh, when you get down to who, who's doing it, it's, uh, it's, it's a good twist. But it definitely needed to be amped up in the suspense, in the suspense and tension part. 
But yeah, so far I watched two of the movies out of the the television, the the terror television box set. They both been pretty good, but man, they really do feel like made for TV movies, which is what they are. But I mean, it's just kind of funny. It the, the compared to how movies are made today, are made for TV movies are today. This is so tame. It is really weird to look back on it and go, "Wow, that was that was big," and now you're just kind of going, "Huh? They can get away with so much more nowadays." <laughs> it. I mean, it's it's super super tame. But yeah, I don't really have a lot more to say about it. I enjoyed it. I think uh, anyone would. Not really a horror film. Uh, a whodunit thriller. You know, I I bought this box set blindly, not knowing, I mean, I knew that there was going to be made-for-TV movies in there, but I wasn't sure if I was going to remember seeing any of them, or if they were, I thought they were going to be more suspenseful, so when I put them on the list for the 31 Days of Horror, I was walking into this blindly, and so far, I'm not disappointed, but they don't feel like horror films to me. That being said, of course... I am the 13th Wolfman, and I am on the prowl. Like, subscribe, share, comment. I always want to know what you have to say. When you do subscribe, hit the bell, ding the bell, ring the bell. That way you know, be notified anytime I put something new up. I'm on the prowl.